guys, I'm Miss Agbola and welcome to my kitchen. We're gonna be making some nice yummy treats as our appetizers before our big Easter feast. Right now I've got some red pepper and I've got a little bit of cucumber and some celery. Mmm, interesting goat cheese with herb and garlic. Now some nice salami slash wagyu slash spiced treats. Um, and then we got a little bit of provolone cheese to wrap it up in and then some carrots. And gotta dip those veggies in some ranch. All right, guys, so here we go. I cut the top and the bottom off because I saw that it was easier to cut the red pepper like that. So, and it gets out all the seeds on the inside. Don't mind that noise over there. They're just doing some renovations over in the other side of the kitchen. So we have to slice our little red peppers nice and evenly. Not too big, not too small. Oh, don't mind that guy over there. He's just you helping with the renovations. Big boys. He's just helping with the renovations of the house. The real guy is here. No, I'm just this. kidding. He's actually the guy that's gonna make this make so oh, 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 you am That's how we do. That's how we do. There we go. Alright, um, but check back in about five minutes, guys, and we'll have the treats. But ready. in the meantime, Bye. Shank. So how do we get this all done? Meet the master seasoning, touching, and making sure everything comes out the way you expect. Papa, catch me in a little bit. Hi guys, back again, Miss Agbola. So got our vegetables chopped, and now we're on to the meats and the cheeses. All right, so I'm gonna roll all these guys up, and then I'll hit you back. Guys, so we're back again, oh, Miss A in the, the house. Happy so Easter, nice everyone. Day. So we've got our first appetizer ready, delectable, wheat thins, goat cheese, some celery, mm, some red pepper, and ooh, look at all that good ranch. All right, guys, so in three, two, one. And the testa is coming. Dig in. We do the digging, we'll tell you. Mm, ah. Mm, so conscious and so delicious. Mm, mm, let's try some, mm, some good mm. vegetables. Okay. Uh, you feed me, I feed you. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. People, if you want something delicious, you gotta make an assembly like this. Sweet, conscious, healthy, mm. and amazing taste. Welcome to the old kitchen. Mm. Olivia and Hola! And we'll be back for the next segment when we make Easter cooking dinner. Bam! All right, you guys are welcome to the Double O Kitchen. Now, what we're about to get started here is some nice shank ham, okay? Our and main appetizer. the process appetizer. of this is to show you how to make southern good ham that goes in your mouth. So the first thing you want to do, and you know, since we are on camera, Showing the world how to do it. We gotta make it fast. So you gotta get some ham. Oh, I'm sorry, my mustard is not been open in the African way. We open it with that tip. <laughs> Good that? stuff. Bam. Then you kind of just. Oh. <laughs> you had to shake it. You make sure there's no. Oh yeah. In there. You're gonna put some nice ham with some nice mustard. You know, just rub it into that. Thank you. Good catch. Good catch. Rub it into it. You know, you want that Whoa. good ham. This is after you've trimmed. I'm up here, people. Yeah. After you've trimmed all the fat out, you know, you just want to make sure you have the mustard all over. Then that's where it comes the good stuff. Brown sugar, baby. Oh, you know about that. What you know about that? Oh my God. I'm sure Miss doesn't know oh about God. that. Oh you take that God. brown sugar, you kind of just slap it. Biggie. Biggie. Whoa. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Whoa. Give me one more hand. That's what he was talking about when he was singing that song. <laughs> biggie, 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 give me one more hand. Oh you gotta put some. Oh, come on. <laughs> that shank bot. Mm, actually, let's go ahead and leave this bad boy. Put it in mm. there. Uh, just put some of that. Because mm, mm, mm. you're going to make the glaze later too, right? Yeah, we're going to make some glaze. Miss Ho talking. Miss Ho is telling you about making the glaze. She knows about it. Then, you know, just got to rub this in. Mm. You know, you always want to put the big butt of your shank. You always want that to be at the bottom, you know. 
Let's have some mustard. Mm. Woo, people! It's about to go down. The way we do it, it's a hand. The way we make it, hey, enjoy. The way we do it, hey, enjoy. My people, enjoy. My people, enjoy. Okay, now, so we've got that. We don't need to put all our sugar on it right now because I'm going to make some plays later on. Mm. Hi guys, I'm back again. It's yeah, Easter. Yeah. Happy Easter everybody. All right, so we got to get started with some of the sides for this lovely ham we're cooking. All right, so today's sides, follow me sweet and I'll show you how we're making. I'm back guys. So I've got some sweet potatoes because we're going to make this delectable sweet potato casserole, but we have to get all the ingredients. So sweet potatoes, definitely marshmallows and follow me to get the brown sugar and we're gonna get this laid out and ready oh let's see if we've got any walnuts guys up in here oh my gosh this is such a messy little area but we will see if we can find the walnuts all right we'll look for those later all right now second side that we're gonna be making follow me guys back to the pantry we're going to be making some green bean casserole. Now, for the green bean casserole, you need the best cream of mushroom soup. All right, cream of mushroom, got that, okay. Then we need the French's onions, and I get the extra large size because Mr. O likes a lot of onions in his green bean casserole. Woo! Then, what we need for this is we have to find the Worcestershire sauce. So, let's sass it up a little bit. The Worcestershire sauce. Then we also need, well, come on, green bean casserole, what do you think? Green bean! Green bean. All right, so two sides, guys, and we're going to start this, but we got to find the walnuts. We'll be back at it in just a little bit to start preparing for the green bean casserole. Then we'll do some sweet potatoes, the sweet potatoes have to cook. And now, guys, it's time to make this sweet potato casserole. So I need to get a pot. Be right back. All right, so i got to put a lot of water in this pot, and then also we got to peel all these sweet potatoes. Mr. O! Mr. O! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how we do. We back. We peel and we make it look nice and easy. Just watch how we go. You hold your, uh, I don't know the name. You, know the name. <laughs> you just simply peel and swipe. Peel and swipe. Guys, I know y'all don't want to see me do this no, all day, but no, we'll be right I can back peel after and swipe. The sweat. potatoes are boiled and ready to go. Back again. So when Mr. O is peeling the sweet potatoes over there, I'm going to be starting with green bean casserole. So I need a pot. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to fill this bad boy up with water. And I'm going to dump all these luscious green beans inside just like that. And they're going to be nice and juicy. And then you'll hit us right back to finish the green bean casserole once we start mixing up some stuff. Guys, we're back again. It's time to check on the green beans. Let's see how these are shaping out. Ooh. These are actually perfect. But before we take them out. Oh, sorry, guys. Before we take them out, we do have to salt them and add a little bit of butter just for flavor. All right, guys, we'll hit you back in a few once we get everything mixed together. We back. Now the ham has been cooking for about two and a half hours. <sighs> Smell that good stuff. Yeah, boy, that's how we do. Now, check this out. You have outside well crust. You have the inside. Hmm, I gotta check this temperature. Mm. Is it time to blaze this. it? You're gonna go where is my let's see this we got to show people let them see what time it is boom check that temperature man it's gonna go high it's gonna go high yeah cooking for about two and a half hours it's time to bring these all together we're gonna put them delicious sugary syrup all over it and that's what brings a hand into the kick that you need so how do we mix this get your syrup don't even be stingy you can dance with it just let it go red away blood mm, bang then you get some brown sugar you mix your brown sugar in it mm, look at that brown sugar well refined uh this is actually kosher sugar if you know what i mean my people kosher so now i got that Yeah, I'm gonna get some. Uh, or, mm, mm, mm. I can hear someone say, I want some of that. Where am I gonna get some of that good old stuff? At the Agbo's Kitchen. 
where Olivia and Ola do the cooking. And of course, once we all mixed in like this, you want everything to be. Wait, we're a family? Oh, yeah, we are kosher. Now watch this. Mm, mm, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? Now I'm gonna slap that bad boy. I'm gonna slap that bad boy with some. Mm. Oh, no, it's not sticking on it. Mm. Oh, pass it, pass it. We'll put that in. Mm. This is what we call the flip. Bam! Ooh. You know what time it is when the flip comes in. Because the flip and some nice. Mm. Look at that. Ham is already like all melty in the middle. It's like, please eat me. Please eat me. I can wait to be eating. Mm. So, put some more sugar on that. This is it's called sugary ham. Mm. It's called sweet ham. Sweet mm. sugary ham. So now we're gonna cook it for about 20 more minutes on very low heat to allow that sugar just to you know, just to go all over it and just make itself mm. known, make itself known, make itself present. So people, let's cook this for about 20 more minutes and you can come back to this kitchen for the most delicious ham. Welcome back guys to Mama A and Mama O's kitchen. All right, so we've got our green beans out and ready to go. So we're gonna be taking one can of cream of mushroom soup and mixing it inside the green bean casserole. All right, guys? So let's get this mixed together. Gotta get a spoon. Be right back. All right, so let's mix this whole can with the green bean casserole. Then we're gonna take a few dashes of Wilshire sauce, just to add a little kick, a little flavor to it. So bam, 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 bam. Then we're gonna take just half of the container of the fried French's onions. And guys, just make sure you always buy French's onions. That is the best brand for fried onions. You don't wanna get any, oh, do you have freaking way? Oh. Ah, I don't have strong teeth like my husband, Mr. O. But I was able to get it open. All right, so mix about half of this, all right guys? Then we gotta take a dash of salt and a dash of pepper. Just to make sure we have all our spices, so a dash of pepper, right? You wanna make sure you get enough pepper on it. And a little bit of salt, just a little pinch. There we go. And then we're gonna mix this together just like this, guys. Mmm, look at that creamy goodness. Mmm. Doesn't that look delicious? And I'll be right back to show you how I pop it in the oven. Guys, so you can't have brown sugar ham without a little bit of pineapple. So this is the Dole brand, pineapple slices, and make sure guys, it is in pineapple juice. Not heavy syrup, not light syrup, but pineapple juice. So this is gonna go great with our glazed ham. Be right back guys. Yeah, guys, there was an epic so Easter egg hunt outside just a minute ago. So sorry for the delay, but now we're getting ready with a sweet potato casserole. So let's go ahead. Here's the sweet potatoes, nice, fresh, and hot. Gotta make sure they're hot and good, guys, so we can go ahead and mash them all together. Then what you wanna do is put a few marshmallows in there while the sweet potatoes are super duper hot, so it's gonna help get those nice marshmallows all melty goodness. Then we're gonna add some brown sugar. We're gonna mix it up and we'll be right back for the cooking. Hey guys, welcome back. Now that we've got our sweet potato casserole cooking in the oven and our green bean casserole, we're gonna start working on making the salad. We're gonna wait for the stuffing because the stuffing only takes two minutes and then we're gonna wait for the crescent rolls and they have to be Pillsbury, guys. So we'll see you back in just a few. Right, guys, so with a ham dinner, you have to have a lot of vegetables. So we're gonna be making Andy Boy salad today. So we're gonna take some nice romaine lettuce and we're gonna dice it up. Probably just one head is good enough. And we start from the end and chop that end off. And then we're gonna dice this good romaine lettuce up. 
<clears throat> now this is a pretty simple salad. We're just gonna be adding some tomatoes and croutons just to get that green action on the table and obviously healthy. Cause sometimes a little bit of vegetables does the body good. So now that we've got our romaine, we're gonna take our tomato and we're gonna slice and dice this bad boy up and just add nice, beautiful red chunks. Now what you wanna focus on is also getting some of this big juice out of your tomato so it doesn't get all runny and soggy in your salad, okay? Once I've got this done diced up, we're gonna add that beautiful, nice redness to give it that beautiful color. And then, once we're done with all of our tomato goodness, we are going to put a little bit of croutons in the center for the garnishment. Now, some people don't like croutons. I personally like croutons. They give the nice salad a little crunch. And then voila, you've got your healthy salad. Now it's time for the Pillsbury croissants, guys. So what we have to do is get our baking sheet out. Make sure we spray our baking sheet really good so our croissants don't stick. Then we have to prep and roll our croissants to put on the baking sheet. So once we pop it open, we're gonna roll it out. Make sure you follow the dotted lines, guys, because there's a lot of different lines and sometimes it can be a little bit tricky when you're getting croissants ready to roll out. So you have two layers, okay? So eight croissants and you wanna start with the big side and you roll it up to the little side to make the perfect croissant. So once we do this, guys, we're gonna have some yummy, tasty, warm, hot bread to eat with our delicious ham dinner. All right, guys, check you back in a little bit for the next appetizers and some to prep the yummy desserts for later after our ham dinner. So we've got a nice apple pie that we'll be warming in the oven for later and eating it with some good vanilla ice cream. Then we come to the Italy. Woo! -woo. Look at all those yummy, tasty desserts. We're gonna plate these up. So guys, we've got lemon crepes, we've got chocolate cake, we've got tiramisu, we've got pistachio parfait, mm, and some nice raspberry tart. So we're gonna plate these up, get these ready for our yummy desserts for later. Thanks. Now for the stuffing, because that only takes like two minutes to cook it. We're gonna get some nice chicken broth. Now, sometimes people can use water. I like to use chicken broth just because it makes the stuffing have more flavor to it. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of some chicken broth. Then what we have to do is we have to heat this, get it all nice and bubbly. What I also like to do is add just a little bit of water and a little bit of butter. Once this comes to a boil, guys, we're gonna add the stove top stuffing and make it a great So Whoa, people, we are back now. The ham is ready, the juice is sucked in, everything that you want in the Easter ham is all tucked in. Get that? Now, before we get it all ready for the plate, we gotta slice it out and see this bad boy. So here goes the slicing. Mmm, mmm, juice me. Oh my gosh. Look at all that juice. Oh, my mouth is watering. I dropped one too. Mm. This is how your Easter egg, uh, your Easter ham supposed to look like. Mm. Look at all this. Look at all this, people. Just cut that bad boy. Just level it out. Mm. So much meat. <laughs> so much meat. Look at this. Look at this. Mm. Look at these people. Are you ready? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can I say? Easter only comes once a year. I love Jesus died for us. And today we celebrate him. Heat up, my people. We'll see you at the dinner. Our delicious croissants are ready. Mm, look at that. Not burnt at the bottom. Nice and flaky. Golden brown. We're going to go ahead and plate these up to go to the table because our stuffing is still cooking. So that's not quite ready yet. And then we'll be back with the ham. Bye. Easter 2021, Daddy-O, Mama-O, we got the ham, we got the creamy casserole, we got the apple pie, we got the sweet potato casserole, we got the salad, the desserts, the stuffing, the pineapple, the croissants, and of course we have some Sprite to drink, guys. So. The only thing left to say is, 
Come hit me now! Happy Easter! Bye! Bye.